Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mayur Akral, Faculty for Super Specialty Marrow Endocrinology. Today we have very important guest with us, Dr. Sushmita Supriya. She has scored rank 5 in INI SS 2024. So first of all, congratulations, uh, very big congratulations from me and the whole Marrow team. You have done extremely well. And let's make this interview very, very informal because most of our interview previously were very structured and that way. And this this one, I want like very informal what you have done and how others can crack it. That is what we want to discuss. So congratulations again. Let's start with a very basic question. How are you feeling now? Thank you, sir. So thank you so much for inviting me for this interview. It's such an honor. And I'm very thrilled for this interview as well as with my rank. Uh, which I'm very happy about, even though it's fine. Yeah, so obviously, I think that's a very uh, simple, decent answer because it was really tough exam and endocrinology is the topmost field at present in super specialty. Most of the aspirants are going for endocrinology. Last year also, we saw almost 50% are going into endocrinology. So what made you think that, okay, endocrinology is the one where I should pursue my future? Yes, sir. So for that, I I need to say that I did not have an endocrine department while doing my MD. So always I used to come across emergencies, uh, seeing cases of strokes and uh, uh, heart attacks, and I had to thrombolize a lot of MI cases as well as strokes. So um, one thing I commonly noticed among them was diabetes and hypertension. Diabetes and hypertension is the commonest risk, risk factor. So uh, I'm more of an idealist person. So I'm always believed in prevention is always better than cure. So okay. and technology gives me the opportunity, I think, very well to achieve that. And I will definitely work for that. That's okay. why I'm one of my favorite. Yeah. I, I think most most of the aspirants, most of uh, when even I was doing my MD, we did not have separate endocrine department. And also in exams, MD exam, it was just the four long uh, cases of cardio, neuro, gastro and respiratory. And that is what I think most of the places would be there. And most of the people don't have any exposure. Even many of would have not seen any pituitary adenoma or any acromegaly in their whole three years of uh, training period of MD. So I think the same was with you. So uh, where did you do your uh, MBBS and your MD from? Sir, I am 2K13 batch. I have completed my MBBS from NMCH Patna. Then uh, MD from AIMS Patna last year. Okay. So so you did not take any drop. This was your first attempt? Uh, no, sir. Actually, this is my second attempt in endocrinology. But uh, okay. I would... This is my first serious attempt in endocrinology. Last okay. time I appeared. Okay. So last time uh, you did not get time enough time to read all those things. So what do you think would be an optimal time and when should a student start preparing for super specialty exam? Uh, so medicine wise, it starts very early. Like during the residency also, you should start preparing for medicine part as well. When... Um, Reaching for an INI in a particular subject, we can we can take along, at least I took along around three to four months of time to prepare the particular subject only. So medicine preparation day before uh, you actually get into the subject in which you are participating. At least three, four months for the subject itself and medicine, you have to start early. Yeah. So uh, most of the aspirants have a confusion that whether we should focus more on the SS exam or we should be more focusing on this like INISS or the need because that's a big dilemma and the question level of toughness is totally different. So what was uh, your take on this? How did you do it? I did appear for NEET uh, last year and I, I got rank around 1100 which is not very good. So I, um, personally, in my opinion, I did not favor NEET as my first choice. It was always INISS, which I wanted to do. So it can depend on personal choices, like what a person wants. I, I was willing to wait for some time, even if it was to make sure my preparation is solid and I do appear in the exam well prepared, even if it takes time. So I did take my time six months and then after three to four months after that so. 
so i i think a six month time is a good enough time for preparation and as you have said last year it was uh, 1100 from 1100 you have jumped to five rank in ini that's great so i think six month is good enough if you are dedicated if you are um, doing the things properly i think anybody can crack so that is what i would say and what was uh, how did you uh, read the williams or did you read williams or it was just harrison what did you do actually to be honest i did not read williams thoroughly i did refer to some chapters like uh, neuroendocrine tumors or lab endocrinology which was not part of uh, medicine uh, especially harrison's so i did refer some of those chapters but i was mostly relying relying on williams for their charts and tables which was in detail discussed in most of uh, your lectures as well as nalini ma'am's lectures uh, so Uh, I mostly prepared through notes and Harrison's as my main source. Okay, so I I think that's the that's the best uh, thing we can do because see I I also believe reading Williams even during our super specialty training is really tough. You cannot and even let's say you read also to recall in that short time everything. This would be really tough. because it is very detailed and not everything can be remembered. So I totally agree on that. And then. Uh, where are you planning to opt because uh, see uh, obviously first three people will go into the aims delhi and then maybe the pg or something maybe there would be some local preference for the person so where are you planning to join as uh, per my knowledge there are around 13 seats at uh, this time the two has been removed by jodh kapoor so we are left with 11 seats only and uh, okay. uh, my preference uh, it's not very final yet but i would go for pgi if it's possible for me or otherwise i'll go for aims rishikesh happily aims rishikesh okay okay and and uh, what do you think that uh, what would be a better choice for the future uh, aspirants whether they should go for first uh, um, say read the harrison part and then go for super specialty or maybe the marrow videos first and then the harrison and then make notes so what was uh, your schedule and how did you do it yes sir to um, first of all i would like to thank marrow platform because marrow has been an integral part in my journey not just for the last 6 months or 1 year it has been with me since my uh, residency days so i did use it as a resource for cardiology neurology nephrology and all the major chunks which were there in our during our residency program endocrinology especially i did prefer uh, to read this time and i did go through a lot of videos uh, of um, of your sir as well as nalini ma'am and uh, uh, some videos from pediatric endocrinology also and uh, i used a lot of your videos um, mcq videos and i was very well using it to assess myself where in my preparation i was because when you were asking those questions and i would pause the videos for some time and then try to answer myself whether i am uh, able to answer with explanation or not in that particular scenario so i used those videos very well uh, in my preparation then question banks were very useful as well as i followed the marrow test schedule strictly So I gave all the mini tests, then mock tests, and uh, used it as a tool to guide my preparation in a way where to see where I was lacking mainly, to see where I can focus on more on my preparation. Okay. okay. So uh, and how did you do this last minute revision? Because see, there are n number of data and n number of percentage. All those things are being asked. and that actually determines the rank because the options are set so close that if you don't know then probably you will not get it right the last minute revision uh, videos which were there had been helpful for especially pituitary thyroid adrenal and bone mineral metabolism uh, i went through them like through the videos only i went through them at 1.5 or 2x speed quickly okay. and i had my notes ready with me so i went last minute revision was all about the notes and harrison's table along with william starts and tables if possible which i was not able to cover a lot of william starts and tables but i went through uh, which i thought was important i went through most of them 
So, so did you watch all the videos at a higher speed or did you use our high yield uh, topic videos? Uh, sir, high yield topic videos mainly uh, during okay. the last last month of my preparation but i did watch a lot of videos uh, from the endocrinology news section uh, in the um, during the january to february time when i was doing a preparation like i started preparing in a uh, topic wise first i would take a thyroid finish it in two to three days with all the resources that i had then move on to next topic so that's how i utilized it for the first time then during the second revision, I went through the videos quickly to see if I, if I had missed any concept or missed any points. So that's how I used the resource. So I, I think this is a good strategy. This will save time and uh, you will acquire more of information in lesser time. And as I have said that, uh, let's make this uh, interview very informal type. So I'll ask you. Uh, two three personal question as well not pertinent to your rank or this exam so see uh, there are n number of people calling us and especially like females so firstly uh, whether you're married or unmarried I'm okay so yes so for both the person there are question they usually ask me that where should we take whether whether we should take near our home or whether we should go to a good institute and then this bond thing because I and I does not have bond but for those who are going for neat ss whether they should go for dnb or they should uh, take a good institute with a bond or no bond with dnb or a bond with a good salary so obviously you would have also thought about this now it's over you have cleared all those things now you don't need to think about that but what would be your preference and what would you say to the other people because these are frequent questions which are being asked yes sir. so definitely bond versus no bond no question you always prefer to go for the no bond phenomenon and no no the question is whether with bond a good institute or without a bond a dnb something where training may not be that good or where you may not get that uh, brand value something like that so that is where the dilemma is uh, sir i did have the option to join dnb last year but i did not choose it because i was focused on my goals like i wanted inis that that was the that okay so so probably you wanted it very badly that is why you have cracked it <laughs> maybe so because i waited long enough like i did wait for around one year for this opportunity okay okay, okay. so that's a uh, pretty good answer just uh, before we close uh, one last question would be the feedback, both the good one and the bad one for us so that we keep on improving and we help other students as well. So feedback, as I said, Maru has been very integral to me, not just my PG, in my PG preparation as well as SS preparations. So I, I have only good feedbacks for Maru and uh, I did use a lot of its videos, not just endocrine, also for medicine, a lot of its modules, a lot of its tests. I have given uh, a lot, uh, quite a lot of time on Marrow platform. So for me, it has helped me a lot. And it has helped me during my UG days as well as in, during my PG days as well as after that. So all good feedbacks from me. And thank you sir, for all your videos. I did watch the recent update, ADA update. 2024 i made notes of it so that was very useful like diabetes has been a favorite topic so i watched a lot of your approaches to diabetes and everything and learned a lot like during the last month only it was uploaded i think after even yes. after exams were done and my interview was pending so i did watch it even then because i had to know the approach to diabetes where how can i say when to when to do what test and how to categorize the patient so i was in for, for even interview i was watching those videos so it's a big help for me and uh, thank you to the marrow team and thank you to you sir because yeah. thank, now, thank, thank you very much but i would again take this opportunity of this interview to ask all the aspirants like uh, i'm really sorry that for we are making it too much delayed but then i believe then only the quality would be there because it takes a hell lot of time to prepare all those things to cater all those minute points so it will take a little bit time but 
but uh, hopefully will come out with something very great which will be very useful for everyone yes sir definitely so uh, thank you again and before we close do you want to say something else maybe something message for uh, future endos maybe for your parents or maybe for your teachers thank you to everyone who have supported me in this journey because it has been the most difficult exam i had to face in life so pg was difficult but it wasn't compared to this one so this has been the most difficult journey i have gone through and the preparation really does take a toll i would just say ki uh, please don't lose faith uh, people will try to say ki you can get a job you can do certain things you can you don't need to sit and uh, prepare and you can join somewhere and then start your preparation i would just say good things takes time and dedication you cannot be in both the boats and think that uh, yes i can do the job and finish my preparation as well so that if you want a good rank give yourself time and definitely with your dedication you can get it it's not that difficult if i can get it everyone else can i i to totally agree i have also taken time to read and i believe it is really tough maybe somebody can do it with a job but persistent dedicated time devotion is required to get a good rank so totally agree on that so thank you thank you very much for sparing your valuable time and this was your last exam so now you can sit relax and it's a exit exam is not that tough you would clear obviously so congrats again thank you thank you for sparing your time